So, I wanted to play Poppy Playtime and uh, Dark Deception today, however, I'm sure you wouldn't have wanted to have to deal with this. <laughs> so, it looks like I'm stuck with uh, console related games for a bit, ladies and gentlemen, so let's start a new journey. Yes, please. <laughs> It's me again, and welcome back to Journey. However, I personally wasn't planning on doing a Let's Play on this, uh, but uh, due to the circumstances of uh, uh, my PC gameplay not really uh, doing as well as I thought it would, uh, I'm afraid I don't think I have any other choice. So, and also because this is the only uh, game I have currently, and the boys are currently in college at the moment, so... Uh, uh, I guess I'm just stuck with Journey for a bit, until I can fix my PC. <laughs> What's this? Sweat blah, 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 blah. I'll just skip to the beginning. We see a cloth creature of many colours. Actually, it's just red. Now, honestly, what I love about this game is just the sand. Just look at it. Look at it. Look how slushy it is. I mean, sure, it just... your trail just disappears, but... At least you could see the trails. Look at that! Just look at it! Oh, this is just beautiful. And honestly, I don't understand why my friends just don't like this game. It is absolutely gorgeous. My guess is they just don't understand the appreciation of how much work got into this game. I mean, true, it almost bankrupted the company, but at least they uh, were able to heal themselves with this game. And there's the title screen. Journey. To the Mountain of Dirt. Quote unquote Aiden. Now, I'm not too sure myself if I should uh, do a full complete series on this. In particular, just uh, trying to find all the secrets this place has to, has to offer. Now, I mean, these are just one of the many secrets you can find. AKA glyphs. But there are many, many more secrets than just the glyphs I have to worry about. Now that glowing light we saw like in the beginning, I'm gonna show you what well what that what that unlocks later on. This here white ribbon. Now, if I'm perfectly honest, I'm actually not really gonna fake it that I have played this game before, because I have played this game before. And uh, I've already unlocked pretty much everything, including all the trophies, so, um, uh, it's it, there's no point in me hiding anything. However, I might try and... I, I'm, I'm personally not so sure where to find all the secrets. But I already know the first two are already here, so uh, I wouldn't have to worry about that. Yeah, up we go. Be free, my pretties. Free, free. I mean, fly, my pretties. Fly, fly. I need to rewatch Wizard of Oz. Missed that film. That was a great film. I'm melting. Anyway, so what's special about this uh, this white ribbon here is that when I'm flying, the flight regenerates itself. So, uh, so it's not like the brownish red carpet where I have to uh, restock myself each time. Now, I am a bit nervous about this because I'm not so sure if you can actually see one of the elders. Uh, you could just about faintly see it. Addy. Behold the power of the stars! I got the power! That's not water! Honestly, I've gotta love the graphics though. Honestly, these graphics are just phenomenal. And I still do not understand why my friends do not love it. Well, in particular, well, Aiden. <laughs> Quote unquote, dirt the video game. It's not a game about dirt. True, it's got dirt and sand everywhere, but that doesn't that doesn't make for it to be a bad game. Now, like you can get a trophy for uh, actually completing the uh, well, cro well, 
flying up the bridge but not being able to complete it. Or just getting to the top of the bridge without completing it, my mistake. I'm just really, I'm really good at the wording. I know do grammar. Yeah, be free, my pretties. Flee, flee. Yes. Fly me to the moon. In fact, uh, I honestly wish this game had like a day, uh, like a nightly rotation. That would be cool. To, that'd be so cool to see the desert at night. But luckily, hopefully, I know where all the first two secrets are. In particular, this one. So as you can tell, the more I find these glowing things, the more or symbols, the more my cloth grows. And I certainly don't want that to be torn later on in the future because. The future gets a bit scary. Alright, I think there's one up there. No, I can't quite remember how to get to it. Aha! There it is. Yeah, I remember now. I remember. Oh, and there's a glyph. Hidden glyph under under that waterfall. Or sandfall. What even odd is this? Oh cool, I can stand on it. Alright. So I guess I could just stand under here and don't get buried. Cause that's physics, isn't it? Not! Hello! I come in peace. Yay! I got a friend! We're not friends! So yeah, there is no other way I can contact this person other than this. So... <laughs> so, pretty interesting, really. It is a bit of a flaw because we have no idea what we're saying, but we can only, like, uh, assume through VIA Morse code. Which I believe this is what it is anyway. Also, another cool thing is the more, the amount of, the more you complete your journey, the more your ad, the more patterns is added to your carpets. So, well, not carpet, but more cloak, by mistake. So, uh... So, like, there's just so much detail to this game that, in my opinion, is just underappreciated a little bit. But an in-depth look really shows you what happens. And in particular, what happened. And why it was, well, as it was. <laughs> okay, flash of light really tells me what happens. Sand surfing. Let's go. Climb, climb, climb. Also, notice that music change as well. Oh, that's just so smooth. So smooth. Oh, I've got an itchy back, but it's so smooth. Why does this remind me of American Beauty a little bit? I don't know. Maybe it's just so joyous, this game. True, it gets spooky later on, but it's pretty... It is still joy like a light-hearted game. I love it. Welcome back to heaven. We hope you enjoyed your stay. Oh, you can't see him now. Oh, man. Oh, well. In case you're wondering, this is what I'm seeing on my screen. And I do apologize if uh, my graphics is just uh, preventing uh, you guys from seeing it. So here they are, harvesting energy. Creating the carpet train of chukka 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 ch
that episode, that one episode. I still wonder how they were able to combat in war. Well, probably they were like, map, like shooting light, light energy out of their heads. But either way, that, that's all I have time for this part. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please don't hesitate to drop a like. And if you're new around here, why not subscribe and click that bell for more videos like this one. So, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! Daddy.